Now that you're done with your home page, let's add to our modules. On the left hand side, select modules. If you're using the district created template, you'll notice there's an example of a module already there. But just know that you can select plus module and create your own module, maybe by unit, big idea. It's really up to you. When you're ready to actually add to a module, you want to come to the right hand side and select the plus sign here. That will bring up a pop up that has a drop down menu that has the different things that you can add to your module, like assignment, quiz, file, page, discussion, text header, external URL, or external tool. I'm going to select page because I've front loaded a lot of content that I want my students to access. Selecting it and add item, and it pops right in. When I'm ready to add something else, same thing, plus sign. This time I want to come to the drop down and select discussion. If you notice, just like with pages, whatever I already had created populates, or I have the option to be able to create it as I'm in my modules, just as easy as that. I love that. I'm going to select one I've already created, and I'm going to put a little bit of an indention just to kind of break it up for my students. I'm going to select add item so you can see that indention right there, but say you slept on it, changed your mind. You wanted to start with the discussion. All you have to do is come to the left, the left hand side, select the eight little circles, click and drag, and that will easily move it over. When you wanna adjust indentions, come over to the right hand side, select the three dots, and you can decrease indentions or you can increase them. When you're done with a module, always make sure everything is published if you want it to get to your students ASAP. If you're thinking ahead or planning ahead, um, you can maybe think about a different way to publish and I'll show you what that means. So I'm gonna select plus module over here because I wanna start thinking about week two. I'm gonna go ahead and type in week two. If you notice right under here, it says lock until. You can actually select when you want this module to be unlocked. So this is really helpful for you teachers that love to plan ahead. You can have maybe a couple of weeks in advance and then just lock them to until um, it's time for that week that you're going to teach and then it will unlock. So I love that. Go ahead and select. I don't want to have it locked right now. Select add module and you can see it comes down here. I know this isn't the most ideal location for your students, especially um, students that may not like to scroll a lot. So if that happens, clicking on these three dots, you will see move module. When you select that, you can come to at the top and select move and it automatically moves it up there for you. And then just again, remember, to publish if you want it to get to your students right away. All you have to do is click on it and it publishes it. 